Hey, what is up everyone? It is Rich. Alright, welcome to my Christmas special. <laughs> Lobo's Christmas special. We will share the moment together. Uh, I wanted to come in and do a video today, and I thought what better way to celebrate the holidays but do this this um, Santa related uh, video. I tried to get Kelsey on. He said no. <laughs> no. He's busy. He's resting. He's resting for Super Fun Wednesday. <laughs> so uh, Saturday and Sunday is Christmas and then Christmas Eve and Christmas. So we'll be back on Wednesday and we'll do a live show on Wednesday, uh, which will be the 28th. And uh, we'll do it in the morning and it'll be like the regular show. But yeah, I can't do it on Sunday. So um, anyway, but all right. So let's get to this. This book came out in 1992. It's Simon Bisley on art. Keith Giffen and Alan Grant wrote it, and uh, it is really, really cool. And there's, I haven't looked at this in, you know, about a year or so. So it, it it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, there's some really, really gritty inking and and just very spontaneous drawing, which is what Bisley was just a master at. And um, just the little peek I got opening the files, I was like, man, this is so good, as good as I remembered, and even in some ways a little bit better. So we'll peep this out. I could probably remove the color on this, believe it or not. That's Kelsey texting me right now. Guaranteed. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Let's see. There you go. The Essential Edition, Rich Friend style. Let me see. I can't even get this better. I get to, like, I'm, like, where I get to be a perfectionist on it. But, yeah, anytime. You just hire me. Marvel, DC. We'll do it. No. <laughs> It really is interesting seeing it with no color, though. It's funny to see how little of the um, the arms and hands that he drew. But, yeah, that looks really, really cool. It's such a such a spontaneous drawing. Damn, look at his freaking leg. Ah, uh, this is so good. Man, it's awesome. Okay, let's continue, my friends. Don't peek at the last page. Lobo flips this off. All right, we got the house. Go full screen mode for a second. Um, wow, you know, I'm really tempted to remove the color on this. We'll, we'll look at it first. So, Silent Night, Holy Night, all is calm. You know it's not going to stay calm. Uh, hmm. This almost looks like a figure. Like, this is like an arm, back, ear, head. I don't know if he meant to do that, but... Man, alright, let's check this in black and white. I want to see exactly what we got going on here. All right, so there you go. You know, when I see stuff like this, there's there's a part of me that wants to remind you, but also wants to remind myself that, that you know, sometimes you may draw something like this and kind of go, well, what can I use this for? What is it, you know? Is it good enough? Does it measure up to all the great stuff that I see on Instagram, and Twitter, and Mastodon and Sepultura. <laughs> How's Hive going for everyone? Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, the thing is, is when you see stuff like this, you go, look, Simon Bisley, he was like a legendary artist at this point, and he's drawing pages that look like this, that honestly, I would be really, really tempted to at least, at the very least, fill it in some more black on it, just so that it read more clear and black and white but it's really not the point of the piece the piece is going to be colored and sometimes you just got to let it go he did some really nice splatter through here it's almost like this in a weird way almost looks like a photocopy uh the way that it's pixelated um which is possible chris bockle used to do stuff like that where he would um take parts of photos and kind of pepper it in let me see what it looks like in color I don't know. That looks like splatter to me. It was. I think it's just the reproduction on this looks a little pixely. But um, you, you, he, he, Bacolo did do that though at times, like invert at Vertigo and stuff like that, where he would actually um, make um, not not photographs. He although he did do that sometimes too, but he would um, like he'd make a photocopy of like this panel and then he would blow it up really big or like kind of slide the photocopy to get blurs and stuff like that. And you can get some pretty interesting effects. I'm tempted to go grayscale on, on more of these files. This, 
I, I think I will on this one just because it's the first one that we're seeing some gritty kind of like figure inks faces I mean but um curious to just see them in black and white All right, so let's see what we've got here. Yeah, some really, really cool shit. Man, Bisley's so good. This stuff, too. I could fucking... I'm telling you, I could draw five to six pages a day this style. Easily. Could do. I could do probably a page like this in an hour. <clears throat> maybe a little Maybe a little over. Maybe Maybe 90 minutes, but... Oh, my God, I could draw this stuff so fast. But I mean, I I don't know really where a place where it would go, and been, and it's not to I'm not taking away from what Bisley did, I'm just saying that a style like this, I mean, especially when you know like the way that you want to light stuff, like this kind of thing, man, you could knock it out quick. He probably didn't though. I mean, I I bet these pages took at least five or six hours, maybe not, but um, it's deceiving too. You get on eleven by seventeen board and you start doing this, and all of a sudden the tightrope gets way more narrow. And, uh, you know, you're worried about, uh, does it look good enough? You know, it's funny, Shudder to think it's a pretty good band. All right. The crow is very excited that we're looking at Bisley. I don't know if you can hear it outside. Man, this is cool. It's been interesting to watch Bisley's career um, as he's gone back and forth between stuff that's like almost too over the top, but it's like there's it's a precarious balance between um, you know a punk rock aesthetic or whatever you want to call it, like a lowbrow. No, I don't know. I gotta shut this. This bird's jumping. Um, and and it looking too sloppy or too careless. Sam Keith, I think, fought with that too to some extent. Where it's like, like you have to find this parameter of where it's loose and still looks very kinetic and spontaneous, and and doesn't fall into the like, is he just rushing through this? So I think both both have had successes and then some failures with it. To be honest, um, some stuff is better, you know, just like just seems to strike a chord. This is awesome. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> oh and it's got the flat colors too. Man, it's cool. This isn't the most Christmassy of Christmassy stories. I remember I, I got it as a back issue when um, I first started collecting. I was like discovered Bisley. I'm not even sure what I would have discovered Bisley on, to be honest. Oh, it might have been the um, Judge Dread uh, Batman. And then I was like, oh man, this guy's stuff is so badass. And then you start looking for more, and I think I got this. Um, out of a back issue bin, um, and uh, yeah, I remember at the time reading it and thinking that I kind of felt like I wanted more Santa and reindeer to some extent. This almost looks like the Simpsons house. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, can kind of skip these the Talking Head pages. Oh man, here we go. All right, let's turn you gray. Well, we'll enjoy the colors for a second. So cool. His bulldog is great. Man, this is so badass. Alright, so let's see here. Gray. And enter. Turn this a little more black. There we go. Alright. If you watch the David Finch, Ryan Benjamin, um live stream they did a date it was two nights ago i think um ryan had a real clever technique that he used for um doing chains um where you black it all in and then go in with white wouldn't work for this particular scenario because it's not in shadow but um 
Yeah, Ryan did a really nice low, low bow. He was like, I always felt like Bisley made Lobo look pretty handsome in in a style that um, a lot of people are very weird and ugly looking. Like his Lobo always looked um, heroic and kind of good looking. God, man, this guy has just got freaking so much confidence. Man, this is great right here. He's got really good. His eyes are close together, to be honest. Like for superhero eyes, it, it totally works. But but um, they're actually like pretty tight, tight in on the nose too. But that's part of what gives it that handsome sort of look. In theory, you're supposed to have one eye between the two eyes, which he does, and even a little extra space. But sometimes comic book faces tend to drift a little further apart. Um, and it, it can still work, so, but he keeps this, like, there's a triangle that you sort of imagine, like, here and here. Um, he keeps it pretty tight. Pretty tight. All right. This bastard. <laughs> Bulldog's face is so funny. <laughs> Yo, barkeep, I'm supposed to be meeting somebody. Oh. He didn't even draw a bar. <laughs> I've had to draw a bar scene before, um, and even if I would ever even attempt a bar scene, I mean, I would have to have a rack of bottles behind the bar or some stuff, but Bisley's like, fuck all that. <laughs> it's the most empty bar ever. <laughs> This guy apparently likes to smoke, though. All right. Oh, his rabbit is great. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> the dog barking at him. Oh, this dog is great. The rabbit is awesome, too. Yeah, Bisley is such a trip, man. His painted covers are, like, insane. And, and in particular, in his prime of when he was really... He had, he had a few moments where he was just crushing it. I mean, the guy's got mad skills. Um, and it's so interesting how he approaches the sequential stuff with such a different um, spirit. <laughs> it's so weird. His head is gigantic here. And, like, is the dog floating? What is the, oh, I guess he's holding the dog? I don't know. Uh, the dog's on the table. His other arm is just like completely vanished in this scene, though. It's like really weird because, like, as like as big as Lobo is, his arm would be massive right here, and it just doesn't seem to exist. It's kind of going down, I guess. But even here, it's just kind of vanished. Like he's holding it down along his side, I guess. I don't know. It didn't really need to be in the scene. I'm just like, like again, because I'm drawing all the time. I have to like, you know. It's stuff that you have to contend with in your own work. Oh, man, this is the shit right here. So it's interesting to see how different artists uh, handle it. Bisley obviously breaks way more rules than um, some, which is why his work is fun. So let's see. I think if I pull out that gray, it's going to be a little too light. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, that worked. Bam. Really, really cool bike. Man, it's awesome. <laughs> it's like a skull. Man, it's so loose. Here we go. Some bottles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven panels. Alright. I wasn't I really didn't think that I would be able to make this into um um uh, black and white scans. These like I said, these reprints can be extremely forgiving in terms of uh removing color. It's kind of one of the reasons that I sort of like when these companies um, uh, trot them out for uh, digital digital copies. Because if they have the original um, files that they would use to send to a printer, um, a lot of times you can actually remove the color from them quite easily, which is nice. It's, if they color over the line art, like um, Top Cow would do that a lot, where like the line art is sort of like is like color blends into it then it's not very easy to do you can still remove some of the gray but uh, it can also screw up the line art <laughs> the dolphins are actually cool it's like his stuff is so weird i didn't even really notice that there was like dolphins just like floating in the air at first i mean i noticed them but not like uh that it would be a weird thing that's a great rock oh bisley you are so good all right let's continue oh man look at this shit here let's go grayscale i want to see what it looks like in black Interesting. Oh man, that's actually really, really cool though. I like this a lot. God, it keeps it so loose. It's interesting. It's giving me some ideas. Ideas, ideas, ideas. When um, we come back on Wednesday, we'll have more Blaster Kid for you guys too. And I think Kelsey is working on a few things to show also. So it should be really exciting. This is a nice shot too. Let's we'll look at it in color first. Let me pull out. So here's the page, as is, as you would see it in your comic book. And then let's do this. Gray. Sometimes I don't like to leap to the darkest gray first, because it can kind of pull out too much of the lines. Alright, let's see what we got here. So my new thing with pouches is I'm always very cognizant of the body and what it's doing to the pouches. So when, you know, you've got your ass cheeks like right here and they're lifting, it's going to affect the angle that your pouches will sit. So I, when I see people draw pouches, I'm eyeballing that to see if they are actually having the pouches move with the form underneath it. Bisley is. Good job, Simon. You get A plus for the day. <laughs> you could even have him sitting up a little bit more, but I'm all... <laughs> his gun is great. It's so funny. I this is I this is kind of my favorite part of the page, is this right here. I love this area, this down shot of the um the gates. It's really, really cool. And it, this leg to these legs, the the how he switches the angle up a little bit, and you really get that nice three D effect on it is really cool all right let's go come on basically this is actually a fairly long book it's nice <laughs> he's like it's like king diamond lemmy there's like probably someone else too i mean it kind of looks like bisley back then too god his arms are freaking huge If you want to be super anal, no pun intended, um, you could even go back and check the buttons and see if the the pouches are the same. <laughs> Pouch uh, consistency. It's for all grades that the comics get. His elves are wild. This drawing, well, actually both of these, they remind me a little bit of uh, some of the Slain stuff, and then um, that makes me immediately think of uh, Jim Murray, who's a big, busily aficionado and does really great shit, but uh, Jim Murray worked, has worked in fantasy a little bit more um, than Simon. 
Well, I don't know. I mean, they both have done it. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, Jim Murray has definitely gotten some things from Bisley. Oh, show. That's cool. He almost, like, at times it was interesting. I noticed it on the other page, too. Like, like he, he's he got such a good, like, because he's a great painter, he's got a really good handle on, like, lighting and stuff like that. And he'll do, like, real cartoony stuff, but he'll give it just enough authenticity with the lighting, like, on something like this, where it almost, like, it's weird. Like, it it feels like it, it's photo reference. I know it's not. It doesn't look like a photo, like, like where you traditionally see someone, like, copy a photo identically. But, um... And I know he drew that on it out of his head, but I'm just saying that it's interesting that um, he can get a level of realism into a very very cartoony drawing just by the way that he lights it. Because they're not it's they're not lighting cues that you would maybe uh, generally see on a cartoony piece. So it it blends the two ideas in a very cool way. Looks like. Even this, it's just like, he's almost too handsome for this world. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, can't say that anymore. Well, I guess you can't say fetal's jizz either. Interesting. I wonder, I wonder if DC would change that word now. I don't know. It's really cool. <laughs> he put some pretty subtle lighting on these, even like on these, this like nice shadow under here and on this. Really, really nice. Go, Bizly, go. They call him the Biz for a reason. Oh, yeah, this is good. Pretty cool stipple effect. Let's do a engraved just to see what we got here. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I don't picture Simon sitting there with a pen and like dotting it. He may have used some sort of um I don't know. Or maybe it's, maybe he masks it off and splatters it. It seems like a lot of work. Like it's because you kind of picture the mentality of like like how aggressive he is with this stuff, and then you go, I don't see him really being fussy with like how he applies. Like this looks like splatter. These I'm not really sure. I mean, it definitely could be. I, mean, I guess he could mask it off and then just hit it with like some chunky splatter. I really don't know. It's a mystery to me, friends. Mystery to me. Oh, that's awesome. Man, that'd be a big money page. Original. This'll be funky. Let's see if it works. There we go. Ah, oh, man, it's so good. Jay Lee. Jay definitely was referencing Bisley back early in his career. And Na Namor, Namor. Some good shit. Man, this guy looks just solid as a rock. Why? God, so cool. Should hang that up on my wall as a reminder to not suck. <laughs> yes, this is a this is a pretty heavy duty book in terms of page count. Got some elf getting destroyed. Some really cool line work on this, like, face. It's really interesting. 
would have been fascinating to watch him work on this stuff. Like, just to sit and watch him draw and in ink. God. Must have been insane. Alright, what do we got? More elf getting chunky. Oh, this is funny. This is in, like, a bunch of comics, right? Where has this been swiped? I feel like I've seen it a few times. Definitely Jay Lee has used it, but I'm trying to think of who else. Is it in some extreme books besides Jay? I mean. Alright. <laughs> That's cool. He didn't really overdo it with the bullets, but it it's it's got a nice nice vibe to it. And <laughs> the dog. This is cool. Really nice drawing. It's pretty cool hands. It's, it's interesting how he does the circles for the knuckles. I mean, I assume that's a way that he sort of places stuff in just to like set up hands, and then just he's kind of left them in his his style. I tend to do um, the bones, so I draw a hand. I actually draw um, like kind of like simple. I don't know if simplified bones, but. I've been I've been working on hands pretty hard. I can draw them pretty good now. Proud to say that. It's probably Kelsey. Let's let me peek really quick while we enjoy the dog. No. He's so cute. <laughs> him. Here, let's turn him gray. I want to see it without that shading on it. Oh, there's a little bit on his nose still. And <clears throat> that's really cool. I never, I never draw stuff with just lines like that. I always put black. It's so weird. Like, and I really would like to do more of that, but. Man, it's just so rare that I would do a page with, like, no black. So this is, like, what it would look like without it. Oh, my God, I would feel so naked. I would just, I would want to put black somewhere. <laughs> and it's not like that the drawing wouldn't hold up. It's just, like, it just feels, like, trippy. Something, again, these, that's why these videos are good. It just shows you the potential of art gives you ideas, loose, tight, you know, design, the whole thing can never go wrong. Just getting some new ideas. Kind of want to keep going in order just because of the story. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Just another day at the office. Okay, I'm going to hide my phone. I'm too popular this morning. Alright, let's go to Santa's store. Oh, that is a nice drawing. Oops. Really, really cool anatomy. Damn, basically. Cuts this muscle up a lot. Looks good. He moves his, yeah. He moves his little, like he puts this a little more forward than I would, but it, it works better because of the position of the arm. This all looks nice. This is good. Lots and lots of muscles. Very handsome chests. Fancy boots. And big foot. It's kind of a Travis foot. Travis was in the Bisley. There we go. This is nice. This is giving me, like, Keith Giffen vibes. Oh, man, this is really cool. Man, what a great page. All right, we got to see this one in black and white. We'll go full scroll. Oh, let me uh, do the black and white first. I'm sorry. Great. All right. 
So now we'll go full screen mode and enjoy the awesomeness of this. Just great horses. Lobo looking cool coming in. Caused some trouble. Got this. Stairs. Keeps it simple. You know, the color made this seem way more complicated. This is a beautiful shot, but again, in color, it really comes to life even more. But here it's quite simple. You know, not a lot of detail on the main man. The banister and stuff looks cool. He makes it work, man. He makes it work. Really interesting shift of the angles here. He turns around, but then, boy, he really swings it hard right here. It's really interesting. Yeah, that's really, really interesting call, but it looks cool. Let's go back. Yeah, I like it. Really, really, this really neat design right here. It's got a great flow, like, with this, but this pulls you around like this and then up and out in a fancy way and this kind of leans you into this so some nice designs this is all really good too this is an interesting angle to actually have his head at because normally like when you're reading and you would be coming through here like this pulls you this way which works but um yeah it's an, like you almost would think that he would be <coughs> facing this way since you read the panels this way but it's really really cool Rules are meant to be broken. There he is. Santa Claus with a big, big gorilla. Gorilla. Please call me Chris or Sir. Oh, man. I totally remember reading this the first time. It's so funny. I was like, they're going to fight. Let's go. It's going to be good. There we go. It's a pretty classic Bisley hand right there. Guys, this is crazy. Really, really fascinating stuff. Man, this is a lot of pages. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna need a nap after this. <laughs> no, I gotta work all day. Actually, I'm gonna shoot like an hour um, video for Patreon after this, um, working on um, figures and anatomy and. Uh, form and how to turn it and all kinds of cool shit it's i've I already i shot two videos this week i'm put, putting a third one up today it'll be pretty long get some good vitamins in people's heads for the holidays and i'll have a link to my patreon um if you want to check it out there's close to 800 videos up there now um you can learn it all my friends learn it all oh, this is awesome I don't remember this page at all, to be honest. I will now. Let's see. Oh, this is going to be hard to remove the black, the gray. Let's start with this gray. Okay, now we could probably pull it off. Now let's try it. Yeah, it worked okay. I need to just darken the black a little bit. There. All right. Let's go. What do we got? Oh, eight up the line work just a little bit. It's a pretty interesting piece. How did they not have Bisley draw Spawn? He must not have just he must not have ever been into it. Cause he would have done a good like something with McFarlane. Lobo versus Spawn. Could you imagine back then if they would have done <laughs> that would have been pretty insane. Oh, man, that would have been really cool, actually. Jeez, now that I think of it. <clears throat> 1993, just throw out a Bisley Lobo versus Spawn. What's crazy is that would that's almost 30 years ago now. Feel old yet? No. <laughs> Sounds cool, but the bunny's already paid for you. I like the dog on this pedal. <laughs> oh yeah, penguins. He would draw penguins. All right. 
let's, let's see what we got here. His knife is kind of funky. It doesn't look super intimidating. He's holding it weird, too. What's going on? This is like, it's weird. Like, this is, like, parts of it look like Bisley's inks, but this is like, this got kind of a very clean. I mean, I'm sure it is. It's, it's like, a, like a little different style here and there. Some really nice line work in here. Man, it's cool. This is great. I picture someone yelling, turn this one gray. So <laughs> for that person, I'll do it for you. I'd be in remiss if I didn't do it. His hair is so chunky. It's like spaghetti and... Man, this is crazy shit. So cool. I can make this a little darker. Let's pull this. Yeah, there we go. I got rid of some of that extra gray. Wow. This is nuts. Oh my god, this book is never ending. <laughs> well, what is going on in here? <coughs> A dog's balls. It's funny shit. A really cool pose, actually. Alrighty. Well, as we start to wrap this video up, I hope everyone has a nice end of the year. Again, we'll be back on the 28th. I'm nearly sure. Wednesday, whatever Wednesday is. I think Wednesday is the 28th. <clears throat> we'll do a nice, super fun Sunday. Um, I don't know if we actually have a... We have a couple ideas for it. Daniel Warren Johnson is one, and Paul Pope is another. So they've both been huge requests on the channel. So we'll see uh, which way it falls. If you have other recommendations, let us know. Because we always read the comments. And um, definitely you guys inspire us to, to pick things, you know. So it's not out of the question that the last minute we'll call a different play. In fact, it's uh, fun, fun to do, you know. Just something, you hear it and you go, oh man, that's definitely what we should do. So, But yeah, everyone have some good time off and uh, then come back furiously ready to draw or consume videos <laughs> these almost look transparent it's interesting what in the color are they no. see drew like the full ellipse around the rocket oh I guess they are they're see-through I think are they glass You don't really know if, like, if, you're, if those are supposed to... I mean, they're colored like glass, so maybe they are. Well, I don't know. <laughs> the monkey stand there is great. The colors are funny on this. Like, why is Lobo all of a sudden purple? Yeah, I don't think that the rockets are see-through. I just think that he was like, I'm not going to go clean up those lines. Another classic Bisley arm. That <laughs> dog chasing a rabbit. How is this all going to end? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Kind of makes me want to do a Christmas book. And every year. Man, that's so cool. Really, really nice drawings. Damn. I like the line that he uses to indicate, like, the gray or whatever, whatever you want to call it, like fur. I mean, kind of tit for tat, but um, it, it's, like, so matter of fact, but man, it really works and really gives them a different texture. It's pretty cool. Like this, you just like wax it with like a little bit of splatter right there. This is nice too. Plump into the snow. The bunnies are fading into the snow. 
Got this bunny looking very, very, like, uh, reminds me of, um, oh, there's a card comic strip. Farside? Kind of looks like Farside art. Okay, let's see what we got. We're getting down to the bear wire. I like that gun. I like the extra lines coming off of it. Gives it like that little bit of edge. <laughs> this is a fine silhouette. I'm surprised he didn't make it look like a big dick or something like that. <laughs> oh, Bisley. Oh, man, look at this. That is so cool. This looks like this would be the greatest video game ever. Lobo and a gorilla throwing missiles, and you get like points for destroying houses. And, and, uh, I, I would play that. DC, make that happen. trying to think of what game it reminds me of i was like it's not joust because joust was just like you'd fight on ostriches looking things yeah it's just like very video gamey like old school video game oh, this is weird. uh oh this is not gonna end well for them it's kind of sam keefish Go getting to the end. Oh, oh boy, what in the world is going on? He's gonna go kill the kids. That's pretty grim. Jeez, that's a violent ending. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Wow, uh, DC would never publish this now. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say that there's no way that that would make it through. I, I can't even imagine that they would reprint this, to be honest. Uh, okay, so let's just turn this on black and white. All right, I'm going to go. You guys have a great day. I've got another video to shoot, and uh, I'm going to get my learn on, share some information with the peeps at Patreon, and be back in five days i may shoot a video monday or tuesday of next week um like a comic or a graphic novel so i may be back before the super fun sunday but uh anyway okay all right you have a great day merry christmas happy holidays and uh go kick some ass for the next few days and enjoy some time with your family or whatever you like to do Sci quiet time away from them all all right later